Where am I? What am I doing? Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft Cave Survival. This is for Page, and I am being attacked by Caco Demons. Yay! So I am here in the Nether. I was in this Nether fortress looking for some Wither skeletons because I have not seen any. Except one, just one wither skeleton in this entire playthrough. And it wasn't even near a uh, another fortress, which is kind of bizarre. Like, I've gone through so many nether fortresses and I haven't seen any wither skeletons. And I'm wondering if it's there's just something wrong with my game. Like, I'll. The mods I have installed, probably the, some of the ones I installed myself, there's probably some issues there. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised in the least. There were a couple things that I tried to figure out, like I couldn't find any in any of the uh, nether fortresses, so I figured maybe there's something wrong. Or maybe they just have incredibly low spawn rates. So I figured I, I, I took a uh, skeleton spawn egg, slapped it down here in the nether, and it turned into a wither skeleton. So I thought to myself, well, if skeletons turn into wither skeletons in the nether, maybe I can use that to my advantage. So I found uh, before that the graves that I get when I die spawn skeletons on top of them. So I thought maybe that those would spawn wither skeletons, but it turns out they didn't. However, I I did get this right here. It's a nice skeleton spawner for skeletons that uh, don't have bows. So I don't have to worry about them shooting me. And they spawn pretty quick. As you can see, there's one there's another one. They spawn pretty quickly and they give me experience. So I could possibly turn this into an experience farm. Definitely bow and an arrow farm. But that that's gonna have to wait. Uh there is a way to kill these uh kill things that they will drop experience, unlike these iron spikes, which only drop items and they don't Seem to be doing a very good job at it. I might need to get some more of those spawners. Um, so yeah. No wither skeletons for me. Which is sad, because there's a few things I really need wither skeletons for. Ah, uh, well. I'll work that out later. I'll figure out what mods causing them not to spawn. Also, I have a new hammer, which I named Anders. I thought maybe it was time to retire my old one. This one is made out of pure cobalt and has a blue slime handle and it has luck as far as it goes and the rest of it's uh, haste. So it has a really, really, really fast mining speed and is lucky. It's pretty much the best thing ever. Mining speed, 23. This one's mining speed is 7.36. So this is like way faster. So I told you guys last episode that I would have something to do in this episode. And I guess that's partially true. I went hunting and oh, sorry, uh, I got a whole bunch of ender pearls so I can start building tesseracts now. Yay. Also, let me show you what I did down here. I played around and I figured that this is probably my best bet is using them in a line like this. They can conduct electricity through each other, so I only need to hook up one, 
and it looks really stupid coming out like that, but I couldn't get it to work any other way. Hey, oh well. So all I gotta do is have barrels up here. They're gonna be fed in through the top, and then these lead directly down into barrels. Which I have 16 dirty cobalt gravel. And then from these barrels, they will go into my gravel processing unit, which will be over here somewhere. Pooh. <laughs> I gotta work. I gotta do this with a regular pickaxe. I can't use my hammer. I'll do it later. No sense in wasting time working on that. I have tesseracts to build. So the, the the dirty gravel, the stuff, will go directly into my ore processing bit, or my gravel processing to get clean gravel, which is why I need the tesseracts. Okay, I need, I'm just going to get rid of these tesseracts. I'm not entirely sure if I finished the thought about the whole experience farm thing. Anyway, the answer is turtles. Turtles with swords give you experience. Uh, Tesseract. Tesseract frame. This thing. Endarium. Endarium blend. Tin, shiny, ender bucket. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ender bucket. Magma Crucible. I have one of those over here. It's a fluid transposer. Magma Crucible. Oops. Back there. So it's definitely not going to go on these things. Because those will only accept coal. So I need different fluid transposer. Do I have any other than that one? Okay, I need to make a fluid transposer. Eek. Bucket, machine frame, redstone reception coil, glass, copper. Machine frame, glass, iron, gold. Bam. Fluid transposer. Um, I'm gonna just stick it right here. There. And um, now I need a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it also needs power. Crap. Forgot about that. Um, the uh, where's my satchel? Down here, there's a hole in my ceiling. It's in this box, which I use. No, what? It's nighttime. Where's my satchel? Where's my caca demon over there, still in timeout? He deserves it. He's a jerk. Do you guys have my satchel? Probably. Now. There's a bone. Now. Now. And now. Where the heck is my satchel? I have to go make those graves again. Dang it! Where's my stuff? I'll have to make a new one, I guess. It wasn't particularly hard to make. Okay. Now, after all the tools and weapons, this thing, knapsack, okay, it's not a satchel, it's a knapsack. How do I make it? Two iron tough rods. There's some creepers upstairs. Golden leather. 
Okay, so this you put up in this slot right here, and you got this. Look at me, all my stuff is still in it. Alright. Got my crescent hammer. I fall down a hole. And get that. Bring it over here. Yeah, this is full. So I'll smack it down here. Crap. Did it? Ah, uh, got rid of it. Well, the gelid cryothium I don't care about, but I do care about the ender pearls. So. Yeah, I cheated, but it's for a good cause. I want to turn off the back. Yeah. <laughs> and... Smack that. And stick four more. And then... That should be good. I think. Doesn't matter. Put it in the bucket! So I have shiny. I should have shiny. I only have three shiny ingots? Really? I do have 14 ferrous ore. Which... Where did it go? Oh, I didn't actually put it in my inventory. Herpeter! These need to be pulverized. I'll use you. <laughs> so in order to make Enderium Blend, you need a lot of tin and shiny. Ooh, shiny! Alright, lead. Or tin. There's tin, right? Tin. Yeah. You get four from it. So that's cool. So I need... Six. Yeah! So I think I can make two with the with this amount of Enderium. I think. Not positive. Alright, um, extract frame, smelt up the Enderium. Just slap it in here. That won't work. So, oh, uh, pyrothium, sulfur, coal dust, redstone, and blaze powder. I have all those. Need some coal dust. Ah. I have sulfur. I know I have sulfur. Saltpeter too. I don't need saltpeter. I need. I need some redstone too. Where's my blaze powder? There it is. Sulfur. Okay. Induction smelter. Not there, not there. That. There. Now everything is going according to plan! <laughs> Hardened glass. Oh, do I have any obsidian? Crap. Uh, obsidian. Can I craft it? I have to have a diamond pickaxe. Will it work with my pickaxe that I have? Probably not. Nah, not gonna work. It was a long shot. Still got some pyrothium. Neat. Alright, I gotta go get some obsidian. I'm gonna make one Tesseract before this episode ends. How fast is this gonna be on obsidian? Pretty quick. So 
eight and one lead. For two and I need four, so that's sixteen lead uh, obsidian dust per tesseract, so that's No, I don't know. Perfect. And two diamonds. Gets me that. Bam. Now I need to fill these up with ender pearl juice. One bucket each. Yeah, this is going to take a while. All right. Hang on. Holy hot dog in a hand basket. I am out of power. I was not expecting that in the least. So, I need some coal. I'll do a half stack. See where that takes me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> Poo. Dang it! I forgot! Come on. Back needs to go out like that. Now I have 500 mil buckets of liquefacted coal in here. Which I will go get a couple more fluid ducts and send it out. See if I can do that. Uh, I'll, I'll worry about that later. Uh, right now, I need to attune these into this. So I need four silver and four bronze. Now, how do I make bronze? Uh, copper and tin. Three copper to one tin. Yeah. Three copper, one tin gives me four. And so I need three more copper. And one more tin. Or two tin. It's Tinker's alloy, but who cares? Same thing. Uh, four silver. I have a lot of silver. Four more silver. Alright. Hey. Do they not stack? Uh, interesting. Alright, I have my tesseracts. Cool, cool. I will show you what they do now. Tesseracts are really cool. Don't think they need power. They should need power. They didn't the last time I used them. I'm going to smack down a couple of those there. And a couple of those there. Now keep in mind these work for both items and uh, energy and fluids. Use these to quickly transport things across vast distances. Two in the ender frequency to determine links. One. This is going to be item. Frequency item. And it's going to send only items. A block for fluids and block for energy. You know, just to be safe. Requires a low resonance signal and you can lock it. So it if you used it on a... Uh... Why will it not exit? Thank you. As you can see, when it, when it has a frequency and it's tuned, it turns black-ish. Looks really neat instead of just being a green, unattuned color. Bam! So this one is going to receive only items and block fluids and energy. Give me my crescent hammer. Smack that once. And smack that once. Put down a couple of levers. Actually, I don't know if you need the lever over on that one or not. But... You gotta throw in some dirt. Uh, 
and it should end up over here. And if it doesn't, it does. So as you can see, it went from that chest over there to that chest over there. Now, this doesn't have to be in a straight line or even that close. It could be here and the other one could be in the nether or in some other dimension that I have. And it would still get the items. And you can tune them to different frequencies, like as much as you want. About a thousand different frequencies that you can attune it to. And it, uh, you can actually work on the same frequency with different things. So like you can have frequency one with, uh, for items here and have two different ones on the same frequency. And have them send fluids across and they won't have any problems with each other. So that my friends is Tesseract. And I'm going to use those to send power from this up here, which I may actually end up moving because uh, I, I want a lot more power and I'm going to be using a lot more power, hopefully, maybe if I can. <sighs> and then, then just these three. So I don't know. Find out how things go, but that's going to wait until later, much later, and I'm going to not do anything until later because I'm all out of time. I am way out of time. Hopefully I'm going to be able to cut this up enough because um, a lot of stuff happened in it that I didn't account for, and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning about Tesseracts and how to build them and stuff, <laughs> and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, everyone, take it easy. Ta-ta.